Where are you going? Where are you going? Old eight tracks, man. You don't, see, uh, you don't see too many old eight tracks anymore. Oh no, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> Do you? Eight track and cassettes. Well, the cassettes are coming back a little bit. I don't know if the eight tracks will or not. If they were going to, I think they would have by now. Is that a planter? No, I think it's just a little decoration. Huh. What are you asking for that? I don't know. I'm just here to watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, stick your head in the door and ask. Alrighty. Y'all like somebody. Just don't break them before we get away. <laughs> I don't know. Make me nervous. Is <laughs> that so how much? Thank you. Thank Sorry, let me get out of your way. These cars looked really cool and they looked great in the display case and they were asking three dollars a piece but they were just made of really cheap plastic i don't think these were more than maybe like five to ten dollars new so i decided to pass on them you've got a uh, cactus planter thing out there how much are you asking for that yeah, I set it on the table right out there. Is it like a, um, wait a minute. I think it's a planner. It's that um, ceramic piece straight ahead on the table. Is it that one there? That's it. You know what that is? It's what is a it? toilet bowl holder. It's a toilet You're bowl kidding. Brush holder. If you that's buy a funny. brush, we took the old one out and cleaned oh. it, so, but that's what it is. Uh. What are you asking for it? <laughs> it's going to have, she didn't put no price on it. Uh, well, how about a dollar? What Sold. do you think? I'll okay. take it. 
Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around too. Okay, okay, all right. I know. Go by yourself. Yeah. They put you in charge of the basement? Yeah, I guess. That's better than the garage. It's cold out there. Oh, yeah. You made the right choice. Thank you, Steve. Keeping track of my water bottle. <laughs> At least three people tried to take it while I've been down here, and he said, yeah, no, that's hers. Really Thank you. Where are you going? Oh, is there not more stuff back no, here? Nothing back there. No. Okay. Where are you going? Jeez, and nothing upstairs? Keep... Nothing upstairs. All right. No, no, no. I think I'm done then. You're checking her out right now? No. Okay. You're good. I'm, I'm, debate. I'm in a debate mode now. So I've got the uh, toilet brush thing for a buck out there. Okay. I've got that. 20. 20. Jackets were five. I've got two jackets. I got one puzzle. 32. Drop they knew they 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 knew. Yes, that's right. Is there stuff downstairs? Yes, sir. 32. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good luck with the sale. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, she sells, buys and sells. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Come on in. The resale shop? Yep, up on Beachmont. Gotcha. Yeah. It's great. She's, she's got great prices too, and it's always the inventory is constantly changing. She's the one running the sale. Yeah, she okay. does these estate sales too on gotcha. the weekends. Right. Yeah, thank you. Good to know. Good right. prices up there too. Yeah, yeah. I'm going back outside. You're not gonna go down the basement? Oh, I just got all that. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's going on? I saw you snagged that glove. Is there a name on it? It's called uh, Spider. Interesting. Oh, that's just a spider web. I wonder what the source of player name in there. That's where the money is when you can find some molded. It's kind of a shape of something you can tell. If you got cleaned up, you might be able to see something. Yep. Uh, just busy. What do you got there? Fine. Uh, Thank you. Back at the shop. I hit a couple sales today. I did pretty good at one and only found a couple things at the other. Let's see. At the one sale, I just got this uh, VIP Crafts quilt kit. This is a Rocky Horse 
for a dollar. I've done really well with um, some quilt kits in the past and uh, embroidery kits and all kinds of crochet and all that stuff. Anytime I find, you know, this type of stuff, like new, sealed, and it's cheap, I always buy it. Um, it looks like this one might only sell for about 20 bucks, but I've sold some of like upwards of $100 and even a little bit more than that. So anytime you see patterns, quilting, things like that, definitely check it out, especially if it's cheap. The other thing I got at that sale is this Batmobile. This is original from 1989. It is a little bit dirty, obviously. It needs uh, cleaned up. But besides that, I don't think it's got any damage. And I saw this selling between like 30 and 40 bucks plus shipping, so I was happy to pay $4 for that. The other sale I went to, I got this Spirit of St. Louis jukebox. Um, the Spirit of St. Louis, they make radios. There's like this really cool phone they make. It's pretty common stuff, not super rare. It's meant to look like the old stuff. You know, it's definitely repop, um, but it's got some value. I paid 20 for this and I saw these selling anywhere from 50 to $70. Has the uh, manual as well. I didn't plug it in yet, but I'm hoping that it works. But yeah, just a super neat piece. Also got this cactus piece. <laughs> this is so funky. I didn't know what this was. And they told me that it is meant to hold a toilet brush, which is a little gross, mind you. Like it needs to be cleaned out. But I don't know. I think it's neat. I think somebody might buy it. I don't know if I'm going to put it on eBay or try to sell it locally, but I like buying uh, cactus stuff. Got a couple really neat jackets at that sale. This one here, I can't make out what the uh, label is, but they put... A couple patches you've got this uh, USA patch and then you've got the uh, white stripe going down and then they put this uh, Honda motorcycle patch on here which I thought was really cool so I'm gonna try to just sell this as you know like a vintage motorcycle type jacket um, obviously not made by Honda it's, it looks to me like they definitely uh, put that patch on themselves but still just it has an awesome vintage look paid five for that and also paid five for this one this is Gap I do believe it's vintage all of you uh, clothing experts can help me out with this one. Uh, it's a denim gap jacket. Uh, I guess this is fleece lined, flannel lined. And here's the tag that caught my attention. Medium, made in the USA, gap denim. Has a cool weathered look to it. Definitely heavy. It's like a, you know when you pick up a piece of clothing or just anything in general, when you can kind of tell if it's cheaply made or if it's got some substance to it. And this definitely has some, has some substance. I'd say it's probably at least three pounds. And the buttons say the gap. Let's see, I think there's a year on there too. Probably won't show up in the in the video. I think it says 1969, but that's just established 1969. So yeah, really cool jacket. If you know anything about it, please leave a comment. I would love to know any kind of information you might know about this thing. It might be worth a lot. It might be worth nothing. But anytime I find cool stuff like this and it's cheap enough, I grab it. And this was five bucks, just like the other jacket. Last thing I got at that sale is this uh, puzzle. They had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of puzzles at that place. Um, from what I saw, pretty much all of them were had been opened. Uh, this one was still sealed in the plastic, so I picked it up for a buck. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.